coverage. And tonight, one Bronxite shares her battle just to get tested for the coronavirus. She says she visited four sites, and she says one even asked her to pay for that test. News 12's Carmen Grant has this story from East Tremont Avenue. After being exposed to COVID-19, former City Council candidate Lisa Crespo immediately went looking for a COVID testing site in her neighborhood of Tremont. She says the experience wasn't what she expected. That's when the nightmare started. This COVID-19 Center of Excellence on East Tremont Avenue was her first stop after finding it on the City COVID-19 Information Portal. Crespo says she left that location disappointed. Here at Gotham Health on East Tremont Avenue, a worker told me off camera at one point the facility was doing both COVID testing and vaccines. She says at this present time, they're doing neither. The Bronxite says she tried a local pharmacy with no testing there. She says her third stop was at this walk-in center where COVID testing was available, but the wait was too long. It was her fourth attempt to get tested for the virus at St. Barnabas Urgent Care that left her truly stunned. I told them the kind of insurance that I have, and they say, we don't accept that insurance. So you'd have to pay $100 for $100 to $125, depending on what kind of test I would like. A hospital spokesperson says the incident was an unfortunate mistake and provided News 12 with this statement that reads, SBH provides, regardless of insurance type or insurance status, both COVID testing and COVID vaccination. The sign at the hospital that reads COVID-19 vaccine and testing at SBH Urgent Care Center walk-in, no cost, is accurate. According to the city's health department's website, Crespo zip code, which consists of Belmont, Claremont, Mount Hope, and Tremont, is ranked high for COVID transmission. Health department numbers show one in every seven people in the area was diagnosed with COVID-19. Meanwhile, the Bronx site says she understands the main focus is vaccinations, but she says having tests easily accessible to the public is just as important to help reduce the spread of the virus. She hopes her experience is an isolated case. All I wanted to do was to get a COVID-19 test. Um, and I couldn't. Crespo says she eventually purchased an at-home COVID test that provided her with the results she desperately needed. Carmen Grant, News 12.